What's happening you guys? Welcome to the channel. I am Mitchell with Mythco Outdoor Services, located right here in Colfax, North Carolina. I want to apologize for my absence. Been very busy uh, the last several weeks, couple months, and uh, haven't been able to get a video out to you. Uh, but anyways, uh, I got something right here. You can, you can see a little sneak peek of it, and I've been working on something here in the shop for the last couple weeks, and I want you guys to see what's going on with me for 2024. So without further ado, let's check it out. All right, you guys, here it is. This is my all new 2024 spray rig. That's right, getting into turf treatments. Uh, those that have been following me uh, last year know that I got the Toro uh, Spraymaster 60 um, here uh, with Mythco, but that wasn't enough. I wanted to venture into turf treatments. Now. This setup is not 100% complete, um, so why am I videoing it? Well, the only thing left to do is to get my hose on the reel, and it's cold outside, and you know, like rubber doesn't uh, work really well when it's nice and cold, so I'm gonna wait till it warms up and then get my hose put on. But, a little bit about the trailer. It's a 14-foot utility trailer, and I wanted to go 14 feet for a couple reasons. Uh, one, to give me space up here at the front for the Spraymaster, uh, and two, to mount the 325 gallon auxiliary tank over the axles. Three, to give me enough room at the back to put an aerator, you know, plugger, some spreaders, things like that, uh, come, you know, spring or fall um, turf treatments. But I didn't want 16 feet, 18 feet, nothing like that. So um, it's a 7,000 GVWR, perfect for the weight that I'm going to be putting on it. It's a dual braking axle trailer. Um, gonna talk a little bit more about the Spraymaster here in a minute, but all right, you guys want to uh, interrupt this video really quick to talk about my awesome software that I use, Jobber, and one way that it can improve your business in 2024. And that is Jobber payments. What do I mean by jobber payments? That is setting your system up to accept payments via jobber. So you can preload or save a customer's credit card into the system. That way, when you send them the invoice, you can already snap that um, or snatch that payment from them and you don't have to wait for them to pay the invoice. So, you know, you may see on my posts or other jobber ambassadors posts where, you know, use Jobber, you can get paid faster. That's exactly why. Credit card on file. Jobber payments is awesome. Now it does charge a small fee, uh, a small percentage per transaction, but you can easily work that into your invoice. So the customer pays that and not you. So sign up for Jobber today. You can use the link down below try it for two weeks for free. And then if you sign up for a subscription, you're going to get an awesome discount. So check it out. Jobber, I've been using it for years. I love it. And make sure you sign up for Jobber payments. Now back to the video. So overall uh, for the trailer, again, it's not 100% done. I don't know if I'm going to use that toolbox from Green Touch on it or not. Um, but I got a half horsepower electric motor. Uh, did all the plumbing myself. It's the first time I've ever done any plumbing, uh, but anyway, it's just uh, um, schedule 40 PVC. I've got a little ball valve right here so you can open and close it. There we go. So that would be open and that would close it. The electric motor has an auto on off switch. So this in turn acts as the off switch to kill the pump once it detects a flow of water it kicks on and then it will push water to the reel now here in the toolbox um, it's kind of cracked open at the moment but obviously there's a solar panel on top um, there has to be a way to power this electric motor and i didn't want to have to wire it into the trailer wiring i wanted it to be a standalone unit so i picked up this toolbox i've got a master switch right here like a like a battery switch you know in an rv or a boat so I don't have to open the toolbox every time. But when you open it up, I've got an Optima blue top battery in there with an inverter, okay? And that is what powers the electric pump. So it's pretty, it's a self-contained unit. 
Now, what else can I say? So um, I went with a three quarter inch hose. So pretty much the hose that I'm gonna put on this reel will look identical to this. And I'll have just uh, probably 110, 115 foot of hose on here. And the goal is I am not going to treat or spray yards with this hose. So any guys that know about this uh, type of setup would know that 100 foot of hose is not enough. You need, you know, two, three, 400 foot of hose to spray yards, you know, while you're walking. But that's what the sprayer's for, spread, uh, the, the spray master's for. I'm gonna have yards that I can use this on. I'm not gonna be walking on yards spraying them. So what did I need this for? Well, this is going to be water only. I will use this to fill up this. So I'm not using water from people's houses. I'll be able, I'll be like self-sufficient, if you will. So again, 325 gallons, that's 60 gallons. So I'll use this tank to fill the spray master up. Now, via this, this hose, but I wanted to have enough hose to also be able to offer a mobile watering service. Because again, there will never be any chemicals in this tank. So what's a mobile water service? Well, you know, let's say a, a homeowner or a contractor is installing flowers or they've got a, a spot or a place, a location where there is no access to water. And for instance, like the entrance to a neighborhood. And I'm just speaking from experience, installing spring annuals, fall annuals, and it's a little too dry, I can come in and water those for said contractor, property owner, whatever, because of the water tank here. Again, self-contained unit. Everything is powered from what's in the toolbox. So that's why I wanted this. And 325 gallons, if it's full, plus the spray master with it full, it is literally the capacity of this trailer. So I'm probably only gonna roll out uh, with about 300 gallons, because I don't even, I won't even really need that. In a, in a day. So again, this will supply this and then I will mix in here only. Now, the spray master, you may already be able to tell there's something that is new hanging off the back. This is a seven gallon isolated tank. Why would you want an isolated tank? Well, I can put Roundup in here. So I've put glyphosate only. You never, ever, ever want to put Roundup in your spray tanks. Um, just not a smart idea. Yes, I do herbicides and soil amendments and things like that, but only stuff that is turf safe goes in the main tanks. And with this, it is a completely, you know, hence the name, it's a completely isolated unit. It has its own pump system and, and all that stuff. That's why you see, um, you know, the nozzles and all that stuff in the pump down below, excuse my, you know, lack of expertise with uh, terminology, but anyways, it's as if this thing is not even on here. Now it gets power from the spray master, uh, you know, to, to run the pump, but that is it. So I can put total vegetation killer in here and it not affect my spray tanks. It also helps because I don't have to have a backpack sprayer with me. Now I will be mounting two sprayer racks on here. I'm going, or two um, trailer racks. I'm gonna mount a backpack blower rack on here and I'm also going to mount a sprayer rack, a backpack sprayer rack, because um, let's face it, I may need to spray around up some places where this hose won't reach. Now granted, I could change this out, but I'm not going to. So I'm probably gonna mount sprayer rack, backpack sprayer rack back there, do a backpack blower, you know, maybe up here somewhere. Why well, do I don't need a backpack blower? Well, uh, I'm, I'm going to keep the hopper up there. So doing granular, granular applications, you know, we need to blow things off the sidewalk and the driveways, parking lots, what have you. Um, forgot to talk about it. I had to get this one custom made with a side load gate, obviously with the tank permanently mounted there over the axles, it makes it impossible to get the spray master onto the trailer. And I did not want the weight of the tank up that far on the trailer because this tank when it's full will um, weigh more than the spray master when it is full. So, uh, you know, just the science of it, it needs to be centered over the axles. 
and it's uh, secured by those hoops and then it is bolted through the trailer. Everything is secure, so I bolted the toolbox down to the trailer. The electric motor is bolted down to the trailer as well, so none of that stuff is going anywhere. anywhere. But in a nutshell, that is the new setup here um, for Mythco Outdoor Services for 2024. So I'm still going to be doing my tractor services, which the tractor is sitting right back there in the corner of the shop. But, you know, when I'm not doing a tractor service, I'll be out spraying. So as of right now, I've already got enough properties for a full day, which is excellent. And um, my schedule is wide open to take on more. Now, I said I was going to talk about the Spraymaster uh, just a little bit. I already hit on the isolated tank. There are two more things that I added. And if you can see right up here, this is the only switch that came from factory. This is the main pump switch. So to the right is the foam marker switch, which I've already talked about, um, not on this video, but um, now to the right is the um, isolated tank switch, hence this right here, what I've already talked about. So that's how you would turn it on and off. And I added the LED lights. So that's the LED light switch. And the new, two of the newest things is this one. So this right here, I'll let you hear it. That is the vibratory motor for the hopper. And I'll show you where it's at. I should just let this gate down. Um, but if you look right there, that is the vibratory motor and it vibrates when you hit the switch it vibrates this hopper and it will you know get any grass seed fertilizer lime whatever that's kind of hung up in the back and not going down to the the gate it vibrates it shakes it all down so you don't have to bounce the spray master one more thing that i added it's going to be tough to see but if you see, yep, there you go, right there. That is the second pump. So I added the dual pump feature to this. Now, why would you add the dual pump? That is for just putting down more um, product, uh, basically water. Some stuff calls for more water as a carrier. And if you need to do two gallons or more per 1,000 square feet, you have to add the second pump because the stock single pump can't do that. Now, granted, you could, you know, go one mile an hour and just creep, but it's going to take you all day. So with the dual pump feature, you can, I'm not going to try to take that off with one hand, but anyways, with the dual pump feature, you can still maintain a five to six mile an hour ground speed. And with the right nozzles, you can spray over to, let's see, I think I can get it off with one hand. There we go. Oops, sorry. Here we go. I know it's going to be tough to see, but so this right here is the high volume spray chart that's on the back. So depending on the nozzles that you put on and the uh, ground speed, you could do up to 3.4 gallons per 1,000 square feet. Now, that is going four miles per hour with a 40 PSI. I mean, that's that's really pushing the system. Um, but I'm gonna be doing anywhere from a gallon to two gallons. But anyways, really handy chart right there on the back. So that's what I've added to this seven gallon isolated tank. And on the description down below, I'll put all the part numbers, but I added the isolated tank, the LED lights on the front, the foam marker kit, the vibratory motor for the hopper, and the dual pump kit. Now, that's a lot, but that's actually not all that they offer for this thing. You can actually replace this hopper right here and put a tank on it. They have other tanks that mount on top of the main tanks, and there is a tank that actually mounts back here in place of this tray. So you can really, really just Frankenstein this thing out. But currently the way it is set up, it is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect for what I am wanting to do. I really... I'm going to keep the hopper. I don't want to do strictly liquid. I want to be able to put out granular and grass seed. So 
just a awesome unit. But that's it, you guys. I'm gonna stop rambling. That is the 14 foot spray rig here at Mythco Outdoor Services, but stay tuned to hear the channel um, as the season unfolds. There'll be a lot more of this here on the channel. And you know, you guys that are big into spraying, if there's any tips and pointers that you can offer me down, uh, offer me down below, please do so. Thanks for tuning in. Please hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell, and we will see you next video.